All right, hey Kiwi Canners, um, Hayden here, uh, Bad Pinty. So, um, yeah, coming to you today from Fakatane, we've got a really nice day outside. Hope you guys got good weather too. Um, it's our fourth week on resilience now, so we're moving on from our last topic of goal setting and into a new topic of problem solving, which is probably one of my favourite uh, topics of Kiwi Can. So, um, I've got some good stuff for you over the next three weeks. But we'll get into our song. So over the last three weeks or so, Chewbacca and Batman have been doing your song. Um, they're off today. They're working on a new stage um, for their next production. But um, I'll do your song today, so you should have learned it by now. So we'll get into it. Um, we'll sing it together. And then at the end, I'll do the Kiwis and you do the cans. All right, here we go. So um, that's our beat. I am resilient, I am strong, I face my fears, bring them on. When times get tough, I don't despair, I bounce back up and persevere. Kiwi, 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 kiwi. Awesome. So uh, hopefully that went well. Um, as I said, I've got some good stuff for us over the next three weeks. So kick that off. I've got a cool energizer. It's trash can football. So... Um, I'll explain how that works. All right, so trash can basketball trick shots. That's our energizer for today. So I've got, firstly, a small trash can. So we don't need the lid. Toss that. Uh, but you will need the trash can. Uh, secondly, piece of paper. Um, when I did this, I've done it with newspaper, but it's much easier if you're using paper like this. It just seems to make a better board. So the idea is uh, to set your bin up somewhere where you can then take shots with your, uh, with your ball. But don't put it close, like I did just then. Make it tricky, make it fun. Um, maybe even get a bit creative with how you get the ball to the, uh, to the trash can. So um, I've done a few videos and attempts at, um, at trash can trick shots. So uh, yeah, we'll go through and have a look at those. Okay, so for my first trick shot, there's the bin. That's where I have to get the paper in. And if you look up there, you'll see a window. And that's where I'm going to be taking my first shot from. So let's see how that goes, eh? Okay, trick shot number two, I've got the bucket sitting in this little tree here, and the shot will be taken from that window. Alright, let's see how that goes. So, trick shot number three. Uh, there you got the target, and up there, the window that's open, that's where the shot's going to be taken from. from. Up there to down there. And there's an outside one too, so there's a bit of wind, so we'll see how I get on. Okay, next trick shot. Um, so you've got the bucket on the stool there, and you have the post uh, for the handrail, and I'm going to be sitting on the top of the stairs. So I'm going to throw it from the top of the stairs onto the little handrail, bounce it off that, and then into the bucket somewhere. Okay, so from up there, off the handrail, into the bucket. Alright, I'll give that a go. Now the last trick shot, uh, trick shot number five, is going to have the target down here and it's going to take place from the same window as trick shot one, but rather than just going straight from the window to the bucket, this time I'm going to try and go from the window through the lampshade and straight down into the bucket. Wish me luck.
Okay, uh, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed your um, your energizer trash can basketball trick shots. Now um, we're moving into uh, a new topic this week. So the new topic is problem solving. So it's a really important um, skill in terms of resilience because life isn't always easy. There's going to be ups and downs and speed bumps. You're going to have obstacles and barriers and all of that sort of stuff to deal with. So instead of just running away when we get um, up against something tough, we need to use our resilience and especially our problem solving skills to get past that. Um, a lot of the time when we're using our problem solving skills, the answer isn't going to be available, available to us straight away. We need to work towards that. So over the next couple, three, next three weeks, I'm going to give you three challenges that you need to work your way through and problem solve uh, to be able to do the best you can. So the first challenge um, is going to be around building a bridge. The second challenge is going to be about dropping an egg. And the third one is going to be around uh, paper planes. So um, before we get into the first one, the bridge, I'll give you a GKQ and then we'll get into that, um, that activity. So your GKQ this time is tell me what is the name of Apu's store on The Simpsons. So what's, what's his dairy convenience store that Apu owns? What's it called? Okay, have a think about that. Okay, so the answer to your GKQ is Apu's dairy quick, uh, convenience store is called The Quickie Mart. Um, okay, so getting on to our activity today. Your activity, is going to be to build a bridge. So I'm going to let you use certain materials for this, but you have to stick to the materials that I give you. So the first thing you're allowed to use is you can grab a newspaper. Um, quick piece of advice, don't grab a little newspaper like what I've got. Get like the big Herald, because the more newspaper you have, the bigger your bridge can be. Uh, and with the newspaper, you can take six of these sheets. Okay, so that's your first piece of material. Your second piece is sellotape. So with your sellotape, you can have, once again, six half meter lengths. So it's 50 centimeters, it's about that long, and you're allowed six lengths of that long. Your final material that you can use is straws. So it's just the straws that you use for, you know, your soft drinks. Um, you can have six straws. And those are your three materials that you can use to make your bridge. So once again, you can have the straws. I don't have any straws with me, by the way. Um, you can use your sellotape and you can use six pieces of newspaper. I'm going to do this. I don't have straws. So we'll see how I get on. I'm going to show you in my video for next week, so when I open with the video I'll have the, have the bridge constructed for you. Now the goal with the bridge, uh, and the reason this comes into problem solving and what's going to make it difficult, um, is firstly, you need to be able to stand a matchbox car in the very centre of the bridge without it collapsing, without it falling down. So I don't have a matchbox car but I've got a little... Lego motorbike weighs about the same as a matchbox car, it's about the same size, so that'll do for me. And yeah, so the idea is to make the longest bridge you can under the, under the idea that it can still hold the toy in the middle. So using your few uh, materials, see how you get on. As I said, I'll put my video up next week. Um, and yeah, see how far I can get it, considering I've only got little pieces of newspaper. So, before we do our Kiwi Can goodbye, um, and I'll let you get away to building your bridge, we'll do one last GKQ. So the GKQ is, tell me what colour is Dora the Explorer's backpack. That's what colour is Dora the Explorer's backpack. Alrighty guys, so um, the answer to your GKQ is uh, purple. So the colour of Dora's backpack is obviously purple. So I hope you enjoyed your Kiwi Can lesson today. Um, I'm sure you have fun building bridges and doing um, basketball trick shots around the house. Um, try not to cover your, your parents' house and little bits of rubbish everywhere. Um, okay, so before I go, I'll quickly do the, the Kiwi Can goodbye. And then yeah, so 
Kiwi Can goodbye. We'll see you next time. All right, Kiwi Can out. See you guys later.